Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. All praises and thanks on due to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We bear witness that there is no God except Allah Subhanahu wa Taala along along without any partners, and that the Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him is his servant and his messenger. Amma ba'd. Uh, brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you here. We are about Surah Al- Al-Ma'un and it consists of seven verses. So compared uh, to the previous Surah, it's quite long. And our method as always is the method of Talaki. When I reset the verse at uh, the first time and then you pay attention to my voice, Take a look at my mouth and then you repeat the verse directly after me. And so it is understood, I think. Let's begin. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين؟ yeah I think I think the the letters are clear here just I want to remind you the the Arabic dal بالدين and the ذي يكذب the the next verse فذلك الذي يدعو اليتيم. Here, pay attention to the shut down. يدعو ال يدعو ال يدعو اليتيم. The next one. ولا يحض على طعام المسكين. Great. Remember, this is we have here the ض. ولا يحض. Again. ولا يحض على طعام المسكين. Great. فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون. Here you can stop at the end of this verse and the prior verse, and you must not. To continue between or to to link between these two verses, because it is sunnah. It is it's better to stop at every end of the verses. Even maybe some of you will say, but the meaning, yeah, well, not best. And you don't stop at all when you recite for your musallim. Then you just. Close your Quran and then go to another places. Nah, but here you just stop and take a walk, and after that you continue your reciting. So in this regard, there is no harm to stop at at the Fawailul Muslimin and then continue again in the next verse. But if you close your Quran Fawailul Muslimin, then Sadaqul Aladim, or you just close your Mushaf and then go away. Ah, so here. This is the problem. Is it clear? Again, فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون. Remember that every ikhfa, the the hiding, to hide the noon or the tanwin. Uh, your mouth is always uh, just very close to the next letters makhraj. So the makhraj of sod is so else so until the even the the noon and or the tanwin here 
is very close to the makhraj of soda so you feel that this ikhfa is very thick also you, we can you can call it the tafkhim ikhfa okay alladhina hum yura'un wa yamna'un alma'un okay i want to remind you that every thin letter the tarkik letter like here ma'un and nun is the thin letter one of the thin letters Oh, uh, you must, or uh, you should, actually you must, but it is considered as the minor mistake. Uh, so, if minor mistake, if you don't do that, and it's very, very uh, fluent if you, or very eloquent if you open your mouth like this, own, own. so don't forget to open your mouth. In everything letters, especially when it is in fatha or in sukun condition. Okay, ma'u because it is doma you pause your lip and then and you smile because it is sukun and the nun is the target letter. Ma'u like that. I think it's over for today and see you in the next video in surah uh, surah Quraysh. May Allah subhanahu wa bless you and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.